everyone, and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm so glad you are joining me today. Let's light our candle and begin with our song. Oh. Do you remember what we sing? I know you do. We sing, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen, everybody. I'm gonna put my candle right here so we can still see it maybe as we do our prayer for illumination. Are you ready to pray? We say, dear God, give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to understand your word. Amen. If you watched last week's video, you might remember that I mentioned for the month of May, we're doing something a little special with our children's chapel. We're still reading our story. We're still lighting our candle and saying our prayers and singing our songs, but we're also having a video part that has an activity for us to do at home. And this week, Miss Carrie is going to be joining us and she's cooked up something really special. You might also remember that we're studying the story of Jesus telling us the greatest commandment, which is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and also to love our neighbor as ourself. I hope you took some time on Mother's Day today to wish your mom or grandma or auntie or someone really special in your life a wonderful day. We're grateful for the many women who are in our lives, right? Well, this week, I want to talk about a story, or I want to share a story that speaks about what it means to be you. And the story is called, whoops, where did I put it? I put it over here. It's called Be Brave Little One, and it's written by Marianne Richmond. So let's read. When I look at you, shining bright as the sun, I wish this for you. Be brave, little one. They're wearing a cape. Be brave to begin to listen inside to the voice of your heart so truthful and wise. How far will I go? What things can I be when I get to choose what brave is to me? Look at she's daydreaming on her bed of all the things that she might be able to be. Be brave to step up and try something new. Be brave to step out when it isn't for you. Look at, she tried tennis. And I don't think it was her thing right there. Be brave to stand up and tell what you know. Be brave to sit down and say hello. He's standing up and sharing something with his class. And look at here, she's going and sitting with this, someone maybe she doesn't know. Be brave to explore in the daring unknown. Be brave to return to the cozy of home. Oh goodness, they're camping and look at, it looks like a little raccoon is scaring him. And then they're bundled up at home with their favorite teddy bear. Be brave to be scared, to stomp and to cry. Be brave to mess up before you retry. She's at the edge of a diving board and he looks a little angry right there. I think he's frustrated by his kite not being up in the air. And she's making a pot, it looks like, with clay. 
Be brave to believe in what you can't see with the ups and the downs that are all meant to be. You're climbing a mountain. Be brave to keep going when going is tough. Be brave to be still when you've had enough. Looks like she stumbled on her bike, but she's gonna get back up and they're just resting. It's, it's been some beautiful days to do that outside. Sit under a tree. Be brave to be with your feelings, each one, the happy and sad, the silly and glum. I wonder if you can name each one of these feelings in the pictures. What's that one look like? Or that one? Or this one? Or that one looks kind of sad, doesn't it? Be brave to be quiet. Be brave to be loud. Be brave to achieve and be fully proud. She's doing some meditation. He's playing a tuba. And look at they're all celebrating even if they're not first. I love that. Be brave to be you on your journey begun. Let your heart lead the way. Be brave, little one. I really like this book because sometimes to live out that commandment from Jesus to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and to love our neighbor as ourself means to be brave. Maybe it means to step out and say something when someone's getting their feelings hurt. Or maybe it means to think outside of what is comfortable for you, to welcome the stranger. I loved that image of the little girl sitting next to the little boy at the lunch table. And while we're not in school, and maybe not with our friends, there are still lots of ways that we can be brave in reaching out and sharing God's love. So my prayer for you this day is that you would remember to be brave, little one, to trust in God and that God is with us as we step out in faith. Isn't that a good thought to think about? It makes my heart feel pretty happy. Let's pray. Dear God, we love you. We thank you that your love helps us be brave. Amen. I forgot to say, and all God's children. Should we try that again? And all God's children say, Amen. I really miss hearing you all say that with me. And my cat just doesn't know how to talk yet. So, well, I can't wait to see what Miss Carrie has for us. So I hope you'll stay tuned as we watch what's going to happen next. Hi, guys. I want to show you how to make a bag full of love and we might call it a goodie bag full of love so that we can show that we love our neighbor. Who might your neighbor be? It could be the people down the street that live close to you. Maybe it's your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunt, your uncle. Maybe it's the classmate you haven't been able to see in person for so many weeks now. Think about the person that you want to share a goodie bag full of love with and then put it together. This is how you do it. You get a Ziploc bag, empty of course, but now you're going to fill it full of love. And around your house you might find things like a York peppermint patty, a lifesaver. I found some Smarties in my pantry. A bag of microwave popcorn, that's awesome and even a bag of cashews, almonds, and cranberries. Just any little thing that you can put in your bag full of love. I even found a bag of tea that I'm gonna put in there. But it won't be complete without a note letting that person know that you're thinking about them. So I made one out of construction paper at my house, thinking of you, and I drew a flower on it. And on the inside I said, enjoy your bag full of love. Love, Carrie. And I'm gonna put it in there and then I'm going to get in touch with my neighbor or my grandmother or the classmate that I haven't seen in a while. And I'm going to let them know I'm going to leave it on their front doorstep or in their mailbox or maybe we can meet up and I can, within six feet, give them their bag full of love and show that it's so important that we always love our neighbors. Wow. 
Thank you so much, Miss Carrie, for helping us cook up something really neat. I hope maybe you'll share a picture with me and maybe we can share with the church what we've been doing on Sunday mornings, even as we're not gathered together. Well, friends, I pray that you are doing okay and doing well and that you continue to be brave while we are home and away from each other. I hope you know that your church loves you, Pastor Katie loves you, and there are lots of people praying for you. So take care, be kind, and love your neighbors.